My parents and Liv are watching The Book Thief downstairs and I have declined an invitation to watch it with them because I'm just not emotionally prepared for that right now so please excuse the sound effects of that movie throughout this video. I wish I had a soundproof room but I don't. Hello humans! I thought today I'd try something a little bit different again. I noticed that last week with Creators Corner, but it's a different again. It's a DIY video. Now you guys may not know, but here in Australia, it was Mother's Day on Sunday. And I'm pretty sure Mother's Day is one of those days that isn't the same date all around the world. I think. Maybe. So maybe everyone's had Mother's Day. But I know for a fact Australia just had Mother's Day and I made something for my mum. I made her a really cute and adorable teacup candle. Now I saw this tutorial on createliveblog.com. Um, I've actually become really obsessed with lifestyle blogs at the moment. I'm kind of just like, oh my goodness, let me live in your life. Anyway, so I saw this and I decided I was going to make a little DIY video of how I did this. Alright, here we go. So you're going to need a few things to make this lovely little teacup candle. The first is, of course, a teacup. You can have one in any size, it doesn't really matter. Next, you're going to need lots and lots of old candles. My only suggestion would be to not use multiple old scented candles because they might create some pretty odd smells and that's not very nice. Next, you're going to need a wick and I'm just stealing one from a candle that we already had that hadn't been used that much. In regards to other things you need to actually create the candle, you will need a saucepan, a metal bowl, a stirring device, a pencil and some tape. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to get your saucepan and fill it up with hot water. Depending on how deep your saucepan is will determine how much water you put in. I'm assuming the more water you put in, the faster the candles will melt, maybe? I don't know. It's science. Also, make sure to turn on your stove top to get that water boiling. The next step is vital and it's going to save you a whole lot of heartache later. You're going to need to cut your candles in half and remove the old wick from the middle. Because you're not going to want old bits of burnt wick or washers floating around in your new candle. Because that's just not very nice at all and don't do that. Pro tip, this was actually really tricky and uh, the second hardest bit after cleaning the bowl afterwards. So be careful and it's a necessary evil. I'm sorry. The next step is to put all your old candles in the metal bowl and just pop that bowl on top of the saucepan. Melting candles is basically the same as melting chocolate in that you use a nested pan. What is a nested pan, you may ask? It is just a saucepan of hot water with a bowl of the melt thing you're melting on top. It's actually not as fancy as I made it out to be, but you know, we can pretend. So now that you've got your candles melting away, just give them a stir every now and then to make sure they don't stick to the bowl or anything. I lied, they're not gonna stick to the bowl. It's just I got impatient and I wanted something to do, so I stirred them. With a kebab stick. Yeah, well done, Bella. Top, top job. The next step is to tape the end of your wick that you're going to be inserting into your candle to a pencil or a chopstick or something equally as long-ish kind of thing um, and just balance that pencil on the edge of the teacup in the centre. This will just make sure that the wick stays straight as it sets in the wax. By this stage your melted candle wax should be all melted, uh, so pour it into your teacup. Be careful when you're doing this because just let me tell you right now that wax is going to be hot, H-O-T, hot. Also, watch out for the pencil and the wick as you're pouring it in because you want to make sure that they're disturbed as little as possible. Oh, and uh, don't forget to turn off that stove top. Don't want to burn the house down. That would be bad. And now that's all that's left to do is wait. Put your tea up in a safe place and let it set. It will probably take overnight, but once it's done, you will have a beautiful, meaningful, artistic, vintage, creative candle. I mean, come on, you could probably sell these on Etsy and make an absolute mint. So yeah you guys that is uh, what I made my mother for Mother's Day. I'll link the blog post directions that I used down below in the description box and if you make this little teacup candle I would love to see a picture of it so post a photo on Instagram or Twitter and hashtag it to Bella's Candles. T-A-N-D-L-E-S. T Candles. It's like their ship name. So you guys that's all I really have to say. I'm gonna go and finish this video here and study for my maths test because who doesn't love trigonometry? I hope you all have a wonderful day, week and month and I will see you next time. I love you all and goodbye.